Europeans and Americans have long gone on trophy hunts in Africa. They were popularized by the British writer Henry Ryder Haggard and later Ernest Hemingway. But there was widespread outrage last July after an American dentist killed Cecile the Lion, a popular resident of a Zimbabwe national park. Now visitors of the continent are increasingly chasing down animals for another reason. Rather than killing, they're painting them. Cheetahs are the world's fastest land animal. Luckily for these painters, they're also known as the dogs of the cat family because they're easily tamed. That allows these artists to take their time. They're on an art safari, an increasingly popular type of trip in Namibia and elsewhere in Africa. When you're sketching, you're, you're collecting a moment of time. You're sitting in an environment and you're you become part of that habitat and the animals will often walk in to your, into the scene. Um, and that's a phenomenal feeling. The cheetahs are located in a wildlife sanctuary an hour from Namibia's capital city, Windhoek. Our main aim at the animal sanctuary is to bring animals that create problems on farms here. This is a way of solving farmer animal conflicts. That is why the animal sanctuary was built. It's not just cheetahs that are being painted. Ostriches don't mind posing. Warthogs actually crave attention. And giraffes act calm and cool, but are eager to grace the canvas. White rhinos are also willing plus-sized models for the artists. This rhino is nonviolent, which makes it a popular target for painters, as well as poachers who kill it for its horn. I read somewhere, I was told that when you sit and paint or draw an animal, you actually have the opportunity to look into its soul. And that's why the artists say they are painting the animals rather than hunting them. 